Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to SOS. My name is Lakeisha Hines and I am saving our sex lives one bedroom at a time. Happy, happy Tuesday to you all. We are still in spring. Spring is not over. Spring has sprung and I am trying to make sure that you are all sprung for each other. <laughs> I definitely want to know who you are, where you're streaming from. Please make sure that you let me know where you are streaming from so I can shout you out. Today, we are continuing our conversation about spring cleaning your sex life. Yes, yes, yes. It is spring. Love is in the air. Uh, the weather should be wonderful. Um, you should be feeling good in, in your inside parts. And so we want to make sure that you are feeling good in every aspect of your relationship while you're in the process of spring cleaning your home. We want to make sure that you're also spring cleaning your sex life. All right. So let's jump right in. We're going to be talking about ways that you can spring clean your sex life. And the first thing we are going to do is clean our toy box. <laughs> that is the first thing you have to do now. Now, listen, I know when you hear toy box, you're probably thinking about your little people if you have children, but you know, like after Christmas or after a birthday, when they get an influx of new toys, that you try to go through and clean out all those old toys. We try to get rid of things that are no longer working that are missing parts that just may not be functioning well. So we want to get rid of those old toys that are not working for us. So let's say you don't have any toys at all. Guess what? This is a golden opportunity for you to go out and try some new toys. Maybe something like the magic wand. So I know that one's a really big toy. Okay. But it's also a great neck massager. So if you don't want to try it internally, try it externally but you definitely want to clean out your toy box, get rid of all the crappy toys that you have. And um, I don't know about you, but I do have a box. Yes, I do. I don't know if this is shocking to you, but I do. <laughs> I have a box and there are some toys in there that to be quite honest with you, they don't really do anything for me. They're not really working for me or my hubby. So this is a golden opportunity to go ahead and get rid of them. Go out and get some new toys. Yes. And you know, some of them are battery operated. Some of the toys, and you know, it's the most frustrating thing. The battery actually dies. So get a rechargeable one. Maybe it's time to upgrade, right? And get all of the ones that have batteries and get rechargeable ones. And we want to buy some new ones that are better. So first thing you may want to do is clean out your toy box. And like I said, if you don't have a toy box and you don't have toys, you may want to try buying some new ones. Second thing you can do to spring clean your sex life is to clean your boudoir. Yes, your bedroom. Last week, we talked about things that you can actually do to clean your bedroom. Not going into details with that again, because that was last week. But let's just talk about some of the things you can do. New sheets. Thread count is everything, okay? You want to get at least a 1,200 thread count. Nothing less if you can help it. I will tell you that we normally catch sales at Walmart around Christmas time. They mark them down for ridiculously low prices. Or you may want to check a furniture store that's get, getting rid of some different colors. So it's spring now. So they may be getting rid of fall colors, right? So they may be marked down. So you got to be able to find these sales to be able to get you some good sheets because there's something about how that sheet feels on your body, especially if you're sleeping in the nude or any part of you is exposed. You want to be on some good sheets that can actually bring in um, just something that, again, our skin has the most nerves out of our entire body. So we definitely want to make sure that the skin feels good. This is an opportunity to bring in something that's more romantic, something that's more fun. And so you definitely uh, want to invest in some good sheets. Maybe you want to get some new candles uh, to make the lighting softer in the bedroom. Maybe, 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 maybe you want to put up some pictures that invite more romance and excitement into the bedroom. There's something you can do very small, just like adding some throw pillows to your bed that can truly change the whole vibe of your bed and look of your bed and ultimate feel of your room. So clean your boudoir, okay? Not just adding stuff, but also making sure that it's clean. Like It's hard to focus on being intimate and having sex if you've got dirty clothes and 
stuff all over the room, right? So you want to make sure it's clean so that it's inviting and welcoming and it's warm and you both want to be in that space. And I don't know about you, if you're with someone who can't focus when there's like a lot going on, when there's a lot of clutter, you definitely want to make sure you don't have clutter in that bedroom. <laughs> okay. The next thing you can do, clear up the bulk. Okay. What am I talking about? Bulk, right? You know, how some people shop at Costco or Sam's Club. They like to shop there because you can buy things in bulk. But I will say this, um, we all have different definitions sometimes of quantities, right? So the way I measure something may not be the way that you measure it. I may seem like, man, this is a lot and this is a good deal what I'm getting at Sam's or Costco. But you may feel like, eh, I don't know that that's really a good deal. Maybe that's not as much to you as it is to me. So we want to clear up the bulk. And I'm specifically talking about frequency or the quality of your sex. Are you having enough? Are you having it sporadically where you're having a bulk moment where we're going good for like a couple of weeks and then there's a drought for the next three months? So are, are we stretching it out? Are we being consistent? Are we having enough sex, too much sex, not enough sex? This is the time to talk about it, how you might want to slow some things down and get it is what you need out of your sex life. So if you're concerned about it, you may need to bring in a third party. I'm your girl. I can help you with that. But definitely, this is a golden opportunity for you to talk to your spouse or your partner about what you want and to really have an honest, uh, honest conversation about it. And this is the one that oh, no, I can't talk. This is one of the things that I talk to you all about all the time is communicate, 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 making sure that you're having those courageous conversations with your partner and sex is no different. You're not exempt from communicating. Sex is probably one of those places where you have to communicate even more because there can be so much damage, so much harm that can be done. And it can be avoided if you just have a conversation. So let's clear up the bulk. Let's decide if you know it's too much, not enough, or what we need to do with that. The next thing you want to do to spring clean your sex life is clear your brain clear your brain. All right. So I, I know we all have ideas of what we think good sex is. You know, we all have things in our minds that we like to do or that we've enjoyed in the past with our spouses and possibly even with someone before our spouse. But the reality is this, you can always learn more. You can always learn something new. And how do you do that? Take a sex class. And who better to do this with than me? You already know me. So take a sex class. We have one coming up next month. You should do it. You actually should do it. Or if you want a private session, you should do it. You want to be a part of a private program. I'm your girl. Sign up. All you have to do is make that discovery call with Hassani. And I tell you, you'll be on your path to fulfillment. Now, I, I know everything's online, right? Everything's online. But it's so much more fun. So much more fun when you're able to connect with someone online that you know, that you feel comfortable with. That's important and not a stranger. Also, you can check out your local um, adult shop and see if there's something going on there. You might learn some new oral skills. Maybe you'll learn how to handle being on top a little better. Maybe you can learn some new positions. Maybe you learn some new things to do with your hands as well as your mouth. I'm just saying there's always more that you can learn. Maybe you take a class in erotic massage so that you can add some things to your repertoire to do in the boudoir just to make you a better lover, right? So there's always something you can do to learn, to educate yourself so that you're keeping it spicy in the bedroom. That's what we always want to do. All right. Another thing you can do, buff your body. <laughs> buff your body. All right. When you think about buffing, 
we're usually thinking about like buffing a car or something like that, maybe polishing some furniture or something like that. And so, yeah, there's some external things that you can do where, you know, you want to smell good. You want to look good. If you're not satisfied with where your body currently is right now in this moment, then you may want to start working out so you can buff it that way. But specifically what I'm talking about here are in, in internal things that you can do to buff your body. Talking about Kegels. You got to work those Kegels. Now, I know most of you are probably familiar with Kegels. And usually when you hear it, you're thinking about ladies and you're thinking about post delivery of a child and wanting to make sure that after that vaginal delivery that she is keeping those pelvic floor muscles and those vaginal walls and all of those things tight and right, right? But guess what? Men, you have Kegels too. <laughs> it's your pelvic floor muscles. So if you're not sure how that works, you know how you have to have that urge to pee, right? You have to pee and you stop for a second and you just stop that motion. Those are your Kegel muscles. Work them out. And the best thing about Kegels for men or women, nobody will even know that you're doing it unless you tell them. <laughs> you can do it while you're standing in line somewhere waiting to pay for your groceries, while you're pumping your gas, while you're cooking food, while you're just sitting on the couch watching TV. You can do it while you're relaxing. And all you're doing is relaxing and contracting those muscles. They will help you to have better and stronger orgasms, I promise you. So for ladies, you might want to try out a, a jade egg or maybe some Kegel balls. And these, are, I mean, they're all different types of devices that you can use to help you really, really work and um, strengthen those muscles. I'm just saying, not just ladies, men too. Work those Kegels. <laughs> all right. So listen, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back and I will continue our conversation about how to spring clean your sex life. Do not go anywhere. Be right back. You're watching the SOS show. about foundation it is a new group program where couples are gathering from all around the world twice a week couples who just want to have a thriving successful amazing marriage no really well-built house is built without a foundation as a matter of fact without a foundation it can't stand it would just crumble right into the ground we are going to interview experts and other successful couples so that you can get a glimpse into the lives of other people who are doing what it is that you desire to do who have and who are accomplishing what it is that you want to accomplish and we also have over 500 videos available for you to watch of all of our teaching everything that we've ever done every topic that we've ever covered will be accessible to you so guys if this sounds exciting to you and if this sounds like something you've been waiting for go ahead and just give it a try we're literally giving away a 15-day trial for a dollar and then after that it's simply three bucks a day and so is your marriage worth it is your future worth it join the community today just click that button and meet us on the other side
Hello, hello. Welcome back to the SOS show. My name is Lakeisha Hines, and we're talking about how to spring clean your sex life. And I'm so excited about this because spring is all about new beginnings, right? Doing things new and getting refreshed and rejuvenated and recharged. Like it's just everything's so fresh and clean, and everybody's focused on cleaning their house. And so this is good. We're actually talking about cleaning up your house. And your house is not just the four walls. It's not just the the roof and walls and a foundation. It's also your body, right? That's your house. It's your heart. That's your house. It's your mind. That's your house. And so that's what we're talking about, trying to clean up all of these areas. So we ended on some body things that you can do, right? But now we're going to move into maybe some mental and some heart things. We want to clean out the bacteria. And the bacteria could be a multitude of things, but I'm specifically focusing on any toxicity inside of you individually or inside of your marriage or a combination of the two. We have to get rid of anything that is toxic inside of us as individuals, as well as in our marital relationship. Anything that is causing you stress and pain, it is time to let it go. You must let it go. You've been holding on to some unforgiveness in your heart. You've been holding on to some justified resentment, some bitterness, some anger, some frustration, whatever it may be that you've been holding on to towards your partner. It is time to clean it up and clean it out. We have got to let it go. I just want to share something with you all. I know that the majority of you who watch the Couples Academy show, who watch this show, who are part of the Couples Academy family, I know that most of you are dealing with infidelity and you are trying to recover and you are trying your hardest to move past the hurt and pain. And it's hard. I know it is. And the things that we ask you to do as practitioners, you're trying, but it's hard. And I know that. But I want to tell you all about something real that happened less than five days ago. Today is Tuesday. Okay. Six today makes the sixth day. My family member left home to go to work, normal day, and never made it home. She got into a little fender bender, drove away from that, realized that something wasn't right. So she pulled over again, put her car in park, and she passed away. We don't know what caused it. Still waiting on results from an autopsy. But the point is, she never made it home. And now there's a husband who's grieving the loss of his wife. And those of you out there who still have your spouses, but are refusing to make amends, refusing to forgive, Refusing to let go of the past, refusing to work on yourself so that you can be better. What if time runs out and you don't have an opportunity to fix it? Imagine what you will have to live with mentally and emotionally and spiritually, knowing that there's something you could have done, but you chose not to. Every single day that we wake up is a gift. Every single day is a gift. What are you doing with the gift? What are you doing with it? So clean out the bacteria in your heart, in your mind, in your spirit, Physically, you need to bathe <laughs> regularly to get rid of bacteria. Clean up your bedroom. Clean up your house. Clean up your marriage. I think enough said on that. Okay. Check your bed clothes. 
Some of you sleep in your birthday suits. That's cool. You still need to check those bed clothes too. <laughs> because sometimes there's some landscaping that needs to be done. Sometimes there's some moisturizing that needs to be done. Sometimes there's some nails that need to be clipped. <laughs> if, if, if those are your bed clothes, you need to make sure that they feel good. Okay. But for those of you who actually do like lingerie or do like pajamas or whatever, you want to make sure you check your bed clothes. We want to make sure there are no holes in them, that they're not too big, that they're falling off you, that you, they barely stay up. I mean, you know, the goal is to get out of them. I understand. But before you get out of them, they still need to be visually appealing to whomever is laying next to you. So you want to check your bed clothes. Make sure that, again, uh, everything is in tip top shape and it may be time to buy some new lingerie maybe and uh fellas there's nothing wrong with you putting on a pair of silky pajamas you know there's nothing wrong with you putting on something sexy to give us something good to look at too so it's just not all on the ladies to wear something sexy to bed it's it's on you too you can contribute all right so you want to check those bed clothes and make sure that again they still fit there are no holes in them <laughs> And, and that, you know, again, that it is visually appealing to your partner. So another thing that uh, is really good, I think, to talk to your spouse or your partner about is what it is that they like to see. And also what makes you feel good? What makes you feel sexy? You know, maybe you want a costume. Maybe you want to try some fishnet stockings or maybe you want to go to bed with nothing but heels on. I don't know, but you need to have a conversation with your spouse so you can make that drawer for all your sexy stuff a little bit spicier and a little bit sexier. All right. That's something definitely that you can control. Next, check your boundaries, check your boundaries. And, you know, that that can mean multiple things. It could mean, you know, having a conversation about what you're comfortable with and what you're uncomfortable with, right? Always we should be talking about that. But specifically what I'm talking about is lubrication. <laughs> I am specifically referring to lubrication. There is a lubrication called boundary lubrication. So many different ones out there, synthetic, water-based, all different types of lube. Lube is important. And you don't have to, to stock up on it, but you don't want to run out either. So, so you want to make sure that you you have it there just in case. You never want to make sure, you never want to be in a place where things are not flowing smoothly. <laughs> All right. So there's less friction. Things just feel better and smoother. So you want to make sure that you you have lubrication, but know the one that works best for you. Ladies who are super, super sensitive down there, you may want to have a water based lube instead of a silicone um, type of lube. I think I said synthetic. I meant silicone. Um, but so you need to know what works best for your body. Talk to your gynecologist about it. And you may have to try a, diff a couple different ones until you find one that works for you. And, and ladies, as we get older too, you know, things have a tendency to naturally not be as lubricated as they used to be. And so we just want to make sure that there's an aid to assist you so that sex is not painful. Because if it is painful, then we know you're not signing up for that. You're not jumping up and down to do it again if it hurts. So we definitely want to control what we can control and we definitely can control the amount of moisture that is there, which can make sex much more pleasurable. All right. The next thing you can do to spring clean your sex life, clear your body, clear your body. What am I talking about? Clear your body. I am talking about making sure that you are getting regular checkups with your doctor, men and women making sure everything is all copacetic. If something feels a little different down there, then you need to make sure that you're checking in with your doctor to make sure everything is okay. You know, sometimes it's just bacteria. 
Um, sometimes it, it's a viral thing. Like you just never know. So if you're not feeling right, you're feeling uncomfortable, you want to make sure that you go get checked out. And it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, pertaining to your genitalia. You're just your overall general health. If you're not feeling well and you haven't been feeling well for an extended period of time, you need to go get a checkup. Go see your doctor. You want to make sure that you're around for the long haul, that you're around to grow old with your partner and to see your children grow up and grandchildren grow up or your godchildren or just whatever, just be around to enjoy life and not have your life cut short for failure to follow up. Okay. So we just want to make sure we're taking care of ourselves, especially during this time where we're still dealing with COVID. We need our immune systems as healthy as possible. So we want to make sure that we get on top of any type of infections or whatever. Um, I know a lot of people who are watching um, potentially may have a partner who is still engaging in an extramarital affair. And you don't know if they're always protecting themselves. If you are still engaging in sexual activity with that person, you need to protect yourself. There needs to be some form of protection barrier between your body parts so that you keep yourself safe. Hopefully, um, you know, if you are the betrayer and you are still out there, messing around with your affair partner, I hope that you will stop today and be honest with your spouse or your partner about what's going on. If you have not told them that you've been unfaithful, today is the day. Because, and especially if you had unprotected sex with another person or other people, your spouse needs to know so that they can take care of themselves and make sure that they are healthy and they are well. And if you have found out that your partner has had an affair, you haven't gotten yourself checked out after they told you that they have had unprotected sex, please do so. So you make sure that you clear your body. You want a clean bill of health. All right. Last but not least, the last thing that you can do to spring clean your sex life is to check your base, check your base. And base is actually short for basics. <laughs> all right. So there are certain things, again, that are baseline that I think we all know about sex and we've been educated about sex in a lot of different ways. But as I said before, there's always more that you can learn. And so maybe you want to try sex counseling. Maybe you want to try um, having a coach that can walk you through some of these things that you're dealing with. Now is a great time to do it because spring has sprung. Everything is new. And this is a great opportunity, a great time for you to sit down with someone and talk to them about what your goals are for your sex life. And if it's something that may seem like, why would I do that? I can figure it out by myself. Mm, sometimes we all need help, right? And sometimes you just need to talk to somebody because you're not getting what it is that you need. You're not getting the affection, the attention, the love, the intimacy that you desire. You're not getting the frequency of sex that you desire. You're not having orgasms or they're not the way that they used to. Maybe you're struggling with medication and maybe you're struggling with um, getting, maintaining and uh, regaining an erection. And so maybe you need to talk to someone about that. A lot of times um, men who are dealing with any type of issues with stimulation or erections, a lot of times it's mental and it's not even physical. So, you know, we definitely can assist, can walk you through that together with what may be going on that may be impacting your ability to have the sex that you want. And so if you want to figure out how to have a better sex life and how to talk to your partner or your spouse about what you need, or you just want to switch things up, make that call because you definitely need to express to your partner what makes you happy and what gives you pleasure. And this is your time to do it. And this is your opportunity to do it. And I will say this too, you know, it may be a situation where you just are not even thinking about yourself right now, where you really are just like, I'm trying to figure out how I can actually take care of my, my partner, take care of my spouse. So if that's the case, again, make that call, make that call. We are here. I am here to assist you in whatever it is you need. I want to say, hey, Lindsay, thank you for watching, sis, and all of the rest of you who are watching. I see you. I see you. You just chose not to, not to let me know where you were streaming from. But 
I hope that this helped you. I hope that you got some insight into how you can actually spring clean your sex life. And I hope that you will implement these things, put them into practice like right now, right away. Do not delay. Today's the day. <laughs> and if you need help, reach out, make that call. So I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week. And I will be right back here next Tuesday, 12 p.m. doing what I do, trying to save your sex life, right? One bedroom at a time. You all enjoy the rest of your day. My name is Akeisha Hines and thank you for watching the SOS show. Bye-bye.